feel like this has been such a long time coming. From the years that we've known each other, yes. we've never gotten to do any kind of a food collab. It's absurd that we haven't. I know. And I see it all the time in the feed too, where they're like, hey, you should talk to Corbin. Or I whatever. know. We, we talked about food just never on camera. Okay, so we're in Tampa. Yes. Um, did you know that Tampa is where the Cuban sandwich was born? It was born here. I mean, I feel like a lot of amazing things are born here, but yes, the um, sandwich, yes. the cigar capital world. Okay, so I stopped at the first spot. Yes. You went to another place. Yes. I went to the West Tampa Sandwich Shop. I got the Honey Cuban, which is the Obama sandwich. He okay. went there and had it. Wow. Though I, I believe that. that he added tomatoes and lettuce to his. When I ordered it, she asked what I wanted, if I wanted the works, and I said, sure. Okay. So that might be what's on okay. here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I got, we went to, well, I went to La Segunda, uh, which I think is the Does number one. Does your wife one. like correct you on the accent? She makes you like put a little, that roll the R's. That or my daughter. Or, oh yeah, I mean, you're getting it daughters. from, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All angles. Uh, so I got a Cuban, okay. the traditional Cuban. Okay. And then I also got, this is uh, another Mexican uh, media noche. What's that? So it's another sandwich. Let's see. Okay. It's, it's, Okay. I'm so excited. I gotta like pull my chair in. I gotta scoot in. To try not to make a huge mess. By the way, I guess we should break down the ingredients of the Cuban sandwich. Well, we're if you've not had good, it. Yes. Um, ham. What kind of cheese is it? Do you know? I don't. I don't know what kind of cheese it is either. It's like a, it's, is it maybe like a it's Swiss? A white or like comparable to a Swiss? Maybe. This is the sandwich. This That's is it. from the West Tampa Sandwich Shop. Look at the zit I've developed, by the way. I don't know what happened, but it happens on a plane, you know? I don't know, it's life. It is. Okay, ready? And a one, and a two. Three, don't do that, it's gross. Oh my God. That's a really good dill pickle. The dill pickle is what makes that really exceptional. Aside from the lettuce, this is awesome. <laughs> really good. This is amazing. This is so good. That like crisp of the bread. That's what makes it a good press. Ugh. And if, if you don't do it right with the butter and that stuff. Yeah, yeah. This place, the, what is it, La Segunda? La Segunda. La Segunda, They're, they are like a bread specialty oh, yeah. place, right? And they've been around since like 90, I think the bag says like 1909 or something. They're like the OG. They're just so good. I'm on my pants already. If I do give that like a number rating out of 10, it's hard without comparing it to the other one, but right now this is like a top tier product to me. Absolutely. I love that. Like I don't want to like- Chef Reactions is the only one that can give number rating. He's not the only one that can do that. Um, I would give it like a nine, honestly. I don't know what I would improve upon, but I just like giving it a 10 seems a little egregious. If you throw away the lettuce, I'm, I'm with you. It's just not a lettuce. Guy. I get it. Or do you want to go to the Media Notes? I think we should go right to the Cuban so we can compare okay. directly and that yeah. will have a refresher. Take one of these small pieces. <laughs> Again, the size of my head. Here's like a little, oh, look at the, you're talking about the pork situation in the other oh, one, look at that. Look at this that. This one looks, this one, no lettuce and tomato. Okay, here we go. Jeez. You hear the crunch? <laughs> you hear the crunch, people? This is where it's at. And you want a little microphone, so like. Right. Those different meat combos is really nice. Mm -hmm. I do like it better without the lettuce and tomato. You just gotta get to it, you know? Yeah. It would actually drive me crazy being on the road because if you go somewhere at the airport and just pick up a sandwich and there's a tomato in it that's been oh, sitting yeah. there for hours, why would you do that? The bread also. Why would we do that? It's like when you get a sandwich too, it's already got sauces like on it. Just no, put them on the side. On the side. It's not a Let thing. me be the deliverer of the sauces. Exactly. I think what I like about this is I do like that bit of sweetness in it. From the honey? Mm-hmm. I mean, like I said. I like that sweet, salty, fatty combo. I, it really you. checks all the boxes for me. I think I would go with that one. Okay. We can't even get a tiebreaker because the guy that works at the bar is a vegan. He's probably like so mad that we're eating these porky sandwiches. Okay, right, man, so this what's this guy? Uh, roast pork, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, almost ideal. It is Swiss. Cuban. Uh, except for a sweet egg loaf. So it's a different, different bread, which okay. brings a little bit of richness. Okay. Um, That's what I like. I like that sweetness. This sandwich might be it for me so then. This could be it. It's delicious. Oh yeah. It's less crunchy, a little more dense and sweet. I like this better. 
This is better for you. I like it better, yeah. I don't know that we're paying enough attention to how good. I mean, we all know bread's good, duh. It's but if I'm making a sandwich, I'm ingredient focused. I'm not really paying attention to the bread being like the conduit of the sandwich coming together. This bread is game changing. Yeah. Okay, so here's my final, final throwing it down. Okay. If I put a line of honey in this, now oh. I, I, want, I really like the honey. We are, <laughs> the you're hell bent on honey. I people. love it. Honey. And I, it's, if I didn't start with the honey, it would have been out of my mind. Now it's all I can think about. If I put a little honey in there, this would be my favorite. That's what Jack did. Mm -hmm. All right, you love sandwiches. honey. I love honey. I love honey Can and I love meats and I love cheese before? together. Garlic honey. Oh my God. I'm glad we did this. Yes. Sandwiches you're, of you're the Cuban okay assortment. Over there. Yeah. All, obviously, top shelf. All Top tier, yeah. All nine out of 10. Yes, yes. For sure. But I just feel like we need to get like a view of all the sandwiches that are yes, on this get table. The Look at that. Delicious. I didn't even know that existed. Me neither. I texted a chef buddy. I said, what's your best Cuban sandwich in camp? And he said, that one. All right, cool. Well, we'll go back to our drawing boards and we'll make our own Cuban sandwiches. Yes. And we'll see who's better. I don't yeah. know if we'll test that, but. <laughs> cool.